Our guest is very important to a lot of very dangerous people. Shh. Ah, I see what this is about. The Continental is a TV series that explores the birth of the John Wick universe. It takes place in the 70s. It really follows young Winston, who is played by Ian McShane in the film, and how he became the head of the Continental that we've all seen and loved in the films. Looking for the man in an ascot. It's a cravat. Much like the John Wick film, it's kind of a parallel world. The high table, the violence, the fun. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is this how you get to the uh, gift shop? We're showing the early versions of the kitchen, the speakeasy the hotel lobby bar. In the lobby spaces, we have a very interesting location, which is the former embassy for the UK here in Budapest. We've just kind of rewound the clock a little bit. The Continental that we meet in the TV show is decrepit, it's corrupt. Cormac, who's running it, is amoral and vindictive. Shoot Mr. Avery for me. Sir, the rules. Oh, yeah, the rules, yeah. Gentlemen. There's Cormac's office, which is not seen in the Wick films. No one knows it existed. Cormac's penthouse suite is actually this beautiful old building called Museum 17, which features a very dramatic staircase and beautiful, ornate carving and details. I don't think you're hearing me. Are we done here? Show our guests the, um, eh, show them the elevator. The DNA of the hotel is analog in a digital world. It's like a magic building with interesting secret passages and pneumatic tube systems. We were constantly looking for new areas and rooms to explore. Hi. Hi. Scale-wise, there's this whole other side of the hotel that you've never seen. We've built a large exterior backlot set here at Orgo, really quite an enormous set build. The crew stopped that day. It was just mind-blowing seeing that in real life. That's your holy grail. Holy grail for who? Whoever gets to it first. As most fans will know, that hotel is a building that exists in Manhattan. The owners of the building actually refused us permission to copy the building exactly. We leaned into it, and so that's when we added these sculptures of the eagles and decorative columns and things like that. We have no authority here. Whatever goes on there goes on. We see sets that we showed in the movies, like on John Wick 3, where Keanu was shot off the rooftop. We were able to take the existing design and utilize that, and we added a little bit here and there to it so that the stunt department could have a really good fight in the pool. New York back then was mayhem. There was crime, gangsters, the mob. It was the Wild West. We built the Chinatown as a freestanding set that was only possible by flying people in from different parts of the world. My father built that dojo. Dojo is Japanese. This is Chinatown. The dojo is an interesting place because you see what looks to be a kung fu or karate studio, and then it has all these kind of secrets in it. This trap door that opens up, it looks to be like it's a bowling alley, but no, it's converted into a gun range. You read a scene description that says bowling alley, and they're running a gun operation. As soon as you have a sentence like that, you have an idea for a wonderful set. Strike. We want to know more about the inner workings of this hotel. We get to know more about these rules, more about this world. There's Easter eggs all over the place. Fans will recognize the adjudicator coin, the gold coins. There are rules at play here, silly boy. Excommunicado. That's Latin for you. You play it safe on any John Wick stuff, you fall flat. It has to be nuts. It is an amazing kind of place, just in the weight and the texture of everything that's happened. I felt like every day I was getting a gift on Christmas. Oh my god, look at that prop. Look at that wardrobe. Look at that performance. And then Christmas came. And I was like, this doesn't feel anything like what I was getting on the set. <laughs> Can I get a room, please? I'm sorry. We're fully booked. And away we go. I'll see you off the Grand Reopening.